Hi everybody. I'm out here on the causeway about mm, four or five miles away from SpaceX. I don't know if you can see this by the way. The cell phone quality out here is absolute garbage right now. It's also so hot my phone is not very happy with me. So we're gonna see how we can do here. Um, I apologize it's making me shoot vertically which is a nightmare for both me and probably for you guys too. But you can see out there um, we do have the Falcon 9 on the pad which is pretty exciting so seems like everything's good to go we're only about t minus five minutes at this point so yeah and here's the gear we're running a sony a7r2 with a sigma 120 to 300 stretched out at 300 with a two-time teleconverter and then we've got another sony a7r2 with a canon 400 56 so um all systems go so far and so for the best of everything guys i am not wearing my spacesuit because guess what it is 92 degrees so this is gonna have to do for now sorry everybody but yeah um ask me some questions if you want uh at i'm going to have to probably hand this thing off to somebody at, in about four minutes because i'm gonna shoot this thing as opposed to just holding a phone i think that might be a little bit more important but for those of you that don't know this is um, a nasa mission so it's a crs mission which means cargo resupply um, spacex when they do these missions they use their dragon capsule which um, this is actually going to be the heaviest uh, time they've ever flown a dragon capsule and it's packed to the brim which is funny because it's not actually packed to capacity for weight but it is absolutely packed um, as far as uh, the volume is absolutely slam packed on both the pressurized inside the cargo and the trunk so this is interesting um, there's still plenty of margins even though this thing's loaded up to be able to return to land which we're only about oh let's see we're only about two and a half three miles away from the landing here at the causeway so should be an excellent 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 view of the landing which I have never seen a landing before so I'm super super excited uh, let me know guys if you can hear me and see me uh, I am sorry this again the cell phone service is terrible out here um, but please let me know so yeah I, the internet might be slow on my part guys I'm sorry um, yeah so here we go we're only like three minutes away so good sorry about the little wind I'm trying to kind of be tucked away in here I'm up against a bridge in the middle of nowhere so yeah so it looks like we're still doing good I'm really excited there's the Falcon down there um, so yeah ask me some questions if you guys have any questions let me know um, I'm really excited for this launch I'm really excited for a landing guys I have never seen one I'm super stoked. So, broadcasting at 360p, that sounds like my absolute nightmare. So, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Let's, let me hear. Hang on. Okay, things are getting serious around here. I wish I could do landscape. Uh, I Trust me, this is my nightmare right now, it's shooting vertically, but uh, the app actually makes me shoot uh, vertical, which is just the stupidest thing ever. I apologize. Uh, let's all yell it. YouTube for this. 360p is the new 4K. <laughs> it's all green here from the Philippines. Excellent. All right. Wonder. I love this. Look at. We got everybody geared up, ready to go. Um, there's only a handful of photographers out here at the causeway. Um, a few other people are on the VAB roof, which uh, I was hoping to do, but uh, it ended up being full. And also, actually, for the landing, they were saying that this is the best place for the landing. So. I'm pretty excited for that, so I think I'm just gonna hedge my bets here. So, okay, I think we're only like a minute down. Who's got the the time? Like a minute. minute. All right, one minute away, guys. I better uh, better get ready here. Will I ever live stream KSP in my free time? Just maybe. Just maybe. Two minutes. All right. Yeah, I'm super stoked for this, guys. Um, yeah, I, will, I probably won't be able to take your questions during the launch at least uh, because I'm going to be focusing on trying to shoot, which, who knows, I have, luckily I have six pad cameras, so I still have six sound triggered cameras um, around the perimeter of the vehicle. So that will be great, um, but, so hopefully those, you know, even if I totally schlub it here with the cameras that I have on hand, uh, hopefully I'll get some good pictures, so we'll see. So, all right, we're about a minute away. I think I'm going to hand this off. Um, would you mind holding my camera quick? All right, I won't be able to take any questions for a minute as I'm gonna focus on the launch, but, but have fun guys. Maybe open up another tab. Um, yeah, that'd be great. And I'll be able to answer your questions here in a minute, so. All right, wish me luck everybody. <laughs> gonna have to do the old uh, two-handed shooting. It's gonna be terrible. But...
Um, here's the scary thing about this launch. Instantaneous launch window, which means if it does not go off at T minus zero, they scrub, the next opportunity isn't for like five or six days. And I don't think I could stay out here for five or six days. Um, maybe I'll just sleep under this bridge. But I really don't think I can manage that, to be honest, so. Um, yeah. Well, let me make sure my stabilizer's uh, this on. Is gonna be we want stabilizer off sorry, here. Okay. Here Alright. Well. There it goes. Yes. It's going. Still haven't heard it in person yet. How crazy is that? falling out of the sky and basically coming down on our heads. I've never experienced that before. So we'll see if my pants remain unsoiled. We have yet to see. So we have about five or so minutes. Yeah, way more overhead than you'd think. It's going to be a few more minutes here. So we're just waiting for that segment to attempt this landing again. This, should, there. this would be the sixth uh, successful landing. Okay, I'm just gonna lock this down. We have about. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions now. So hopefully in a minute here they're going to do stage separation, which is well they probably already did, which is where they actually uh, let go of the second stage. The second stage continues on into orbit. The first stage then actually follows. Well, it turns around immediately. Does a boost back burn. 
which puts it so it comes back over land and they actually make it just short of land so that in case something would happen it would crash into the ocean and then it actually dog legs as it comes down during its final descent so that's pretty smart stage separation was successful this is great because i don't have any real updates i'm literally currently just now looking up into the sky to see a 15-story building basically falling out of the sky which is unbelievable i this this is crazy um when this happens i yeah, I might be speechless, so I apologize. I'm not doing the best job with this, but uh, yeah. So here's the deal. So after stage separation, immediately it fires. Um, there's two pods on there that have um, RCS thrusters, and those reorient the stage, turn it back around like this, and then it does a boost back burn using three of its nine Merlin engines. It does that boost back burn for only a couple seconds, and that's enough to cancel out all the uh, horizontal velocity and then point it back basically over land. So. All right, so we're gonna be seeing the re-entry burn here in a second, maybe, which, this is crazy. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at right now. So there's just a sky, there's just some clouds here, and somewhere above us right now, it's a giant missile falling out of the sky. I don't wanna say missile, sorry. Giant fuselage falling out of the sky. So um, I couldn't hear the, the sonic boom when it went supersonic, but we will hear uh, a sonic boom when it goes subsonic on the way back into re-entry. We'll hear a double sonic boom. All right, so any second now, and let's see here. I couldn't hear what that said. So, yeah, so that's what I'm looking at right now. Oh, I can't wait, this is gonna be crazy. I really wish there weren't clouds like this right now because I have no idea what's going on. Okay, I don't know what that said either, 30 seconds. There it is. You see it? Yeah. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, it's literally directly over us. Oh my gosh. It just looks like a little tiny point in the sky. See that little tiny dot? Oh my word. It just stopped. Okay, I gotta start shooting this. Can you hold this? That was crazy. That sonic boom was nuts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I knew to expect it, yet I wasn't thinking about it at the time. So it was like, it sounded like cannonballs. Just somebody shooting cannons off like right next to us. That was crazy. It's only, I think it's only a double. You might've heard like some extra stuff there just as it bounces off stuff. That was unbelievable. Holy cow. Well, uh, let me answer some questions here for you guys in a minute. Um, let me know if you have any questions about what you just saw. Um, that was pretty amazing so yeah so let me know if you have any questions I'll stay online here for a couple more minutes I know the stream quality is not the best um, here there's a good question how much did my spacesuit cost I got it for $330 which was a steal even Elon was shocked at the loud boom on the first LZ1 landing you're right how is this launch significant so um, smart rock climbing that's what's funny is this launch anymore these are becoming very routine which is to be perfectly honest uh, 
it's it's the funniest like double-edged sword because it's great that it's becoming a routine we're so used to it landing but that's the whole point is that this shouldn't be something that's crazy like oh they landed a rocket this should be like well yeah of course they landed a rocket like you're not surprised when an airliner lands you're not like they made it safely to their destination this is the way it's supposed to be um, so this is the sixth time it's landed on land um, I think it's like the 14th overall landing or something and they've ever since they've basically been landing since Jason 3 last year they have not messed up a landing now they're just like this is just totally normal so the reason the whole point of this launch though is to resupply the International Space Station so what that means is you know there's people living up on the International Space Station now and humans unfortunately need things called um, food water stuff like that I don't know things to live with and this is basically just a delivery truck so that is, and this was not a reused first stage, that is correct. Um, this was a brand new stage, but now they have a beautiful stage that I'm looking at right now, only two miles away, sitting right down there. Let me see if I can, I'm messing up right now. Um, get out of the uh, cabbage. Um, let's see here, right down there somewhere, just next to that big tall tower to the left, is now a new tower basically, known as a Falcon 9. So yeah. A few landings were hard landings, but replaced the foam for the legs is cheap. That's correct. And it's actually aluminum crushed core. So it's this gridded aluminum that has some absorption to it inside the, the landing legs. And they landed really hard on some of them. But yeah, NASA does not want to use reuse stages. That's correct for now. This is, you know, this is still considered very experimental. Um, we'll have to wait a few minutes, uh, or not a few minutes, but probably, you know, in a year or two, it might be so normal to reuse stages already, which is crazy. That's really, really quick, considering the first time we reused the stage was just in March, um, or it was April 1st, March March 30th, I believe, of this year. It was the first time we ever reused the stage. We've only used one other stage since then. Um, so for now, reuse is still sort of considered pretty experimental, but again, the point is that this becomes super normal, becomes uh, cheap, cost-effective. Um, you know, that's the whole point of all this stuff. It's not, it's, yeah, so, but we're just in the beginning stages of this. This is new, this is something that has been sought after for a long time, and it's just now to the point where uh, it can actually happen. So, yeah, it's really, really exciting stuff. How many times can they reuse them? So for now, I think these, so the current iteration of this block, they're considering these like block three slash block four, um, which is just kind of an evolution of the Falcon 9 rocket. But here's the deal is, for now, they're only looking at reusing them once, maybe twice, just out of safety and a, and a you know, overall like, abundance of caution but he will they want to be able to use them 10 times uh, on block 5 for sure with rapid reuse so their goal with block 5 is to be able to reuse them within 24 hours so literally the vehicle lands they do a quick bit of inspections and then without refurbishment they take it out back to the pad and they launch it again so that's kind of the overall goal and uh, yeah so for now though they can only reuse them once maybe twice so pretty cool people are starting to kind of pack up here so I'm thinking all right, I got to get going, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, catch me later. I will, uh, I'll get back to you guys later at some point and hopefully answer some questions. So thanks, guys. Congrats, SpaceX and NASA. So far, everything's looking good. Hopefully, the Dragon makes it there nice and safely. We'll see you guys.